Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again at Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. Appreciate you tuning in to our YouTube channel, Twin Oaks Farm Poultry. I want to ask you, please press subscribe. Hey, it's Melissa, and we've actually been on the road this morning in Traveler Truck. Been back not too long and got the truck unloaded. We went to Baltic, Ohio. We're in Southeast Ohio, so that's a couple hours from here, relatively close. We went to pick up poultry table chicken, freezer chicken. So we also had to bring back these boxes in front of us. So if you, we're gonna throw out a guessing game here as we get started. If you know what those are, drop a guess in comments what you think those are. And we are getting some shadow, but nonetheless, if you know what those are, go ahead and drop us a comment there, like I said, and give us a guess. And uh, at the toward the end of the video, I'll let you know, I'll confirm what those are. I'm sure some of you know what those are. So we're headed to the chicken barn, but specifically we're going into the freezer house. And like I said, we were in Baltic, Ohio. So with this video, we're actually going to get inside our freezers and we're going to tell you the good thing about raising meat chickens. Hey, like I said, it's Melissa again. Thanks for joining us. As you know, we raise meat chickens at Twin Oaks Farm in Southeast Ohio, and we've been doing a video series, three-part video series called The Good, Bad, and Ugly of Raising Meat Chickens. So this video finishes it up. We're saving the best for last. We're asking the question, what is good about raising meat chickens? And we're answering that. So we'll get right to that here in a second. I also wanna ask you again, I'm, I'm begging, actually shamelessly begging. <laughs> please, please press subscribe. We are kind of on a YouTube venture and you can't imagine how much it helps us, all the views and the subscribes and actually short story, try to make it short. We have one video that we've done. Um, we've probably done a handful or half a dozen videos, but out of those, we have one that has had over 300 views. And we noticed on YouTube that when we were looking at those videos to look at the old material to plan some new material, and we noticed when we played that one that an ad played in front of it. So our, our interpretation of that, our perception of that is that YouTube added an ad to the front of our video. And I know most of us, you, me, I'm sure we all do it. We wait for the skip ads and we press it. But as a person making YouTube videos, we noticed that as a distinction and we picked up on it and it's, it's sort of a benchmark. So like I said, you can't imagine how your views and your subscriptions, subscribing, how that helps us. And it, it costs you absolutely nothing. So please press subscribe. The the only possible consequence I can even think of is that like a notification is going to come up that we dropped a new video. We do about three a week, less than 10 minutes a piece. And when it comes up, you know, maybe you can watch it for like 90 seconds. And if you're interested, you can stay with us. And if you're not, you can scroll on down through. Doesn't hurt anything. But just that that viewing of it and subscribing, like I said, it does help us out more than you can imagine. So let's get right down to it. Want to answer that question, what is good about raising meat chickens? And so to answer it, we're going to get inside the freezers. So we keep three freezers, a large one and two small ones here at Twin Oaks Farm in our, our chicken barn. And uh, we've filled this one fairly full. This one is partway full. And we do have, actually all I have in the big one right now is chicken feet and we make a specialty product with that. So we'll talk about that. So we're getting a little blur as the camera adjusts. So please bear with me. But we asked our 18 year old son, this stuff is frozen y'all, it makes my hands cold. But we asked our 18 year old son, what is the good thing about raising chickens? And I loved his answer. He said, getting to eat that good chicken. But then he added, and this is the part I love, then he added, yeah, except for us, because we don't get to eat it, we sell it all. Well, he's right. We have been so fortunate and we're so grateful to our local customers for supporting our venture of raising meat chickens in order to produce poultry that we can market locally. And we're really grateful for that. But these are, what are, if you, decide to raise meat chickens. So like regardless, if you're raising them to sell the meat or if you're raising them to produce meat for yourself, what are some of the great products you can get out of raising meat chickens? Well, I'm gonna show you two of our most popular to start with. One is 
boneless, skinless chicken breast. And we'll get this one up here too at the same time. And the other one, this one's super popular, is chicken patties, salt and pepper chicken patties. So um, actually the chicken patties are made from the dark meat. So like drumsticks and chicken thighs and they debone those and they grind them up and they can make them into chicken patties. There's different seasonings. We generally pick salt and pepper. So um, our chickens, what we do is we take live chickens to a chicken processor and they turn the live chickens into processed poultry into chicken that we can eat so um like this product is about a pound of chicken patties there's three in there like i said that is that's been one of our most popular products boneless skinless chicken breasts as well so there's two pieces in there most of ours this one is like 1.66 pounds most of ours are in that like one and a half pound range. And so I wanna show you on here, we actually are able to get a custom label. So it has our farm name and what it is and some safety instructions here and where to find us. They put that on there for us. And this seal, this tells us that the United States Department of Agriculture inspected processor made this product for us. So um, that's important to us. We choose to take, we choose to take ours to a processor um, actually in Ohio to sell it you are supposed to have it USDA inspected there is an exemption if you stay under a thousand birds and process on site but we we don't choose to do that we choose to take it to a processor so some other products chicken heart we have some requests for that chicken gizzard we get some requests for that and chicken liver we get some requests for that and like there's our thermometer in there so we can keep track of the temperature and know we're cold enough here's some chicken wings this is another super popular product so any of the chickens that we have processed into chicken breasts and chicken patties the wings are left so we get those packaged up people love them um here is sorry here's a package of Chicken thighs, so this is something we get. These are bone in and skin on, and there's four. There's four in there. You, it's hard to tell that when they're frozen, but they're in there. And then we also get drumsticks. So those are also, look at that, four chicken drumsticks, four in a package. Very nice drumsticks. And then we have a special request for this. So we try to get it. We asked our processor, and they did it for us. We did some boneless, skinless chicken thighs out of this group and then one last thing i want to show you we usually get whole chickens but we've had some requests for half chickens so we did a chicken half had them do a split split chicken it's in a styro styrofoam tray vacuum packed so that's neat so we had special requests for that so we're gonna get ready to finish up here i'm gonna answer the guessing game question and show you um the flock that's in progress now so the guessing game question what are these these are live chicken transport crates so they hold about there's three stacked up here so like there's one if you can see and there's three stacked up here they hold eight chickens a piece we actually pick up each chicken one at a time and gently put it in this top and then that closes and we load that like in traveler truck or in a trailer stock trailer if we're taking a stock trailer that day so i'm going to show you the flock that's in process while we're walking in the barn i'm going to give you a little uh treasure of advice that came up in conversation with my husband and i today um want to encourage you out in the world to be the sunshine because there's a lot of rain clouds out there so be the sunshine baby but check out this little flock they're up they're active they're eating there's about 98 birds here so we're gonna actually be in the barn tomorrow changing this pin up and uh, we've got some more birds coming two weeks from now so thanks for joining us we appreciate y'all and we hope you have a great day god bless you and we'll see you again thanks